Hi, this is Gary. You're watching a math tutorial on how to calculate the volume of a cube. In this segment, I'm going to walk through the formula on how to do it, and then we're going to give two examples uh, just so that we understand the concepts. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now the uh, formula for volume is uh, fairly simple once you go over it. I'm going to give it to you here. Uh, volume V equals the length L times the width W and then you're going to go ahead and multiply that times the height H. So volume equals the length times the width times the height. Uh, we can go ahead and simplify that uh, by writing an equation. Uh, it's going to be V equals L times W times H, or length times width times height. And I'll just go ahead and show you uh, how we break that down. The length there, uh, I highlighted it in blue. That's the length. The volume is in the center of the thing. And the width, W, I just highlighted it in blue right there. And then the height, I'm going to highlight in blue as well. So volume equals length times width times height. I'm going to go ahead and shrink that down there. So we have a reminder. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a uh, live example here. And there's my example cube coming up. Now in this example, uh, we want to know what the volume of the blue cube is. On the left, we know that the length is 8, the width is 8, and the height is 5. But we want to know how do we calculate the volume. And in order to do that, we're going to have to use the formula here, which I circled in white. And that's uh, the length times the width times the height, or L times W times H equals V, or the volume. I've got the length uh, highlighted white, the width highlighted white, and the height highlighted white. Let's go ahead and get started. Now the volume equals 8, which is the length, so we're going to plug in 8, times 8, which is the width, times the height, which is 5. And if we simplify that down, that's going to be 8 times 5 is uh, 40. Uh, so 8 times 40 is 320, or think of uh, 8 times 4 is 32, and then 32 times 10 is 320, which gives us our answer for the volume there of uh, 320. I've highlighted that in red, and that is one way to do it. We're going to take a look at another way to do it uh, if we have one or two components of this. So let's go ahead and get started in the next example. In this example, uh, our volume is 256, our length, L, is 8, our width, W, is 8, and we want to find out the height, which I've highlighted in red there, and that is in H. Uh, so we're going to plug that equation in and see what uh, we get. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to plug in our equation here. The V equals L times W times H, or volume equals length times width times height. We know that the volume is 256, so we're going to put that in blue there. Uh, we know that the length is 8. We know that the width is 8. Uh, what we don't know is the red H, and I'm going to write a blue H. Uh, for that, so we don't know what H is. So 256 equals 8 times 8 times H. Now, simplifying 8 times 8, uh, that equals 64. So 256 is going to equal 64H. Uh, H is going to equal uh, 256 uh, divided by 64. And if we simplify, uh, 64 uh, goes into 256 approximately uh, 4 times. 64 times 2 is 128. 128 times 2 is 256. So H comes out to be 4. And our answer is the height is 4. Now, if you understand the, the concept of the equation, uh, V, or volume, equals length times width times height, uh, you should be able to, if you have three different parts, uh, take it and uh, plug in the equation and then work your way from there. And this concludes our tutorial on how to calculate the volume of a cube. Thank you for watching.